is shapes, right? Different shapes, rolling properties, different textures. When they taste them and eat them, different colors, right? That is the beginning of mathematics, when they're looking at um, geometry and, and shapes and the formula for cones and spheres. They have this experiential learning to draw back on when they're doing math in grade 8. So, balls are great. Blocks, they learn colors, they learn letters, numbers, they learn gravity. Um, many times kids prefer to build up the blocks and then watch them crash down. I mean, that's even more fun is, is watching them fall. So, blocks, they learn shapes and properties. Like, you can't build a tower on top of half a sphere. It simply won't work. And they can't put that into words, but they learn it experientially. Cars and people, they learn motion, and with people, they role play. So they impart their feelings on the people. So very often, if you watch your children play with people, you'll hear things that you have said and they copy. They'll say, the mommy says, go put your shoes away. And you think, oh, that sounds like me. <laughs> but it's good for them. They're role playing and processing things in their life, their feelings, their experiences. Sand and water, some of the best plain materials, not expensive, but you can do so much. You can, they can learn the properties between wet sand and dry sand, and what you can shape and what you can't. Markers and paper, that allows... The fabulous it. dance party with Puss in Boots starts in 10 minutes. At the main stage,